A what? The area that I am the rustiest. I'm going to have a model for what, like, what you want to post and a different model for what you want to see. Yeah. Ever wondered how a software engineer juggles job searching, side hustles, and family time all while on vacation? From early morning and interviews to handle rental property issues and enjoying ice cream by the pool. See how I balance it all as a software engineer on vacation. Stay tuned for a day packed with action and inspiration. She smiles, she got me staring for a while, got me staring for a while. Uh, 6.54, I have about six minutes left before the meeting, the interview starts. I woke up before five this morning, still jet lagged, and trying to get used to it um, and prepare as much as possible for the interview. So, fingers crossed. Tell her now what I ever, it is what it is, man, whatever. Good morning, Neil. How are you? No, I cannot hear you. Morning. Okay. One day we'll get used to technology, right? <laughs> yeah. Anna, thanks. Uh, I'm glad to see you again. Uh, thanks for taking the time out to meet with me. Um, just Okay, so let's start off. And I will start off with, you know, a classic question, but uh, an important one. Talk to me about your per day. Per site, which we have seven sites, we were facing about 14,000 runtime errors. And after we put this into place, we had zero runtime errors. Okay, so <laughs> I'll turn. So the interview went well. Um, they want to move to the next stage in the process. They actually is like, tell me, where are you? Are you looking for other jobs? Are you actively interviewing? Yes, obviously, I'm actively interviewing. Uh, it's like, okay, let us know. We might uh, schedule more interviews. Uh, to make sure that we get you in the door sooner. Now, I promised my daughter that the interview will be only one hour. And after that, I will spend some time playing with her. So that will be some pool activity. At 10, I have the team meeting where we work together on a project. So that's fun. I'm looking forward to that. I build the back end. It's there. So next, I have to do the front end. That's the area that I am the rustiest. I am haven't done a lot of front end. So we'll see how that goes. So quick check, it's um, 9.18. So I really, after the interview, I went and had uh, both for breakfast. Um, then I spent like an hour, actually not an hour, 50 something minutes, <laughs> if I'm being exact, uh, with an internet provider canceling the TV cable here at this property. But I am beyond and surprised that it took more than I don't know, 15 minutes to cancel it. I was almost an hour on phone. Then I checked uh, really quickly a few emails and I see that I have something that I need to follow up with. That's what I'm going to do. Um, before I started to do this, I um, watched uh, one blue episode with my daughter. It's her favorite uh, cartoon right now. So she continues to watch that. Um, and I'm here sitting down at the laptop to follow up on the emails. There have been some of the applications that I, job postings that I applied uh, last week. Um, some of them answered and they are looking for scheduling something, um, some introductory discovery call, some sent uh, technical uh, assignments that I need to take. So 
um, I'm going to sort out my inbox for the next 15, 20 minutes. By the way, adding something, some fruits to the water makes it so much better, making water more enjoyable. Next item and on, on the agenda is to start working on finding another property management for this property here in, in Palm Springs. So what I'm planning to do, I'm planning to actually reach out to our real estate agent who helped us purchase this property and see if he can help us find somebody who can do long-term uh, rental but don't want to do short-term rental again here. Um, it just doesn't make sense here in Palm Springs first. Currently there are only 36 contracts allowed per year and next year is narrowing down further I think to 26 so it just economically does not make sense plus the company that is managing the property right now they are not doing a good job so it's a lot of hustle for us we constantly need to keep an eye on things um, and we just want something that feels more passive how's everything all good oh thank you I got access to the course I appreciate it um Things are good. On the MLM, well, on the work site, we successfully shut down all the services, so we're good on that space. Awesome. And I am in California uh, for a few months here, so just enjoying a different sunshine. It's awesome. Are you at your uh, Palm Springs yeah. place? Yeah. Awesome. Cool. So the key aspects um, are establishing and maintaining high standards on test projects uh, and avoiding mediocrity and striving for excellence. Um, it is important to understand that this is not looking for a perfection. There's going to be a balance as well, but uh, it's more of an excellence play. So the difference between the ex Hello. 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 How are you guys? Got a lot of stuff. I feel like we're... Hopefully it gets easier and easier. The funny things with how Restex works, especially with how big our trips routes are getting. What is the issue that you uh, plan to set out? Uh, yeah, I think with that, that uh, presumably we would use uh, to, to populate this page since we want to have information. Uh, yeah, so just with the Rustax model or Rustax, it's a little confusing because you have to have you have to explicitly declare the trip model and trip model with that separately. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, at least in the Swagger docs, it will try to include it. It will try to include that nested like yeah. example after events, or that will fail. Yeah, it, uh, what I found also is sometimes you need to have a model for what like what you want to post and a different model for what you want to see yeah. the result of your post because when you post, you don't want the ID to be there because then yeah. you it's safe and it will uh -huh. yell at you. Uh, but you yeah. want to see the ID when the record yeah. was um, successful. That is, that is literally what I was just trying to <laughs> figure out what to do. Uh, yeah. Basically, what is the best practice? Is it better to just have for, uh, you know, a, a separate model or...? Yeah, um, you, have, you have a general model for the, kind of the, the methods and requests and all of that. For the, kind of, this is kind of a mock-up of the, for the, for the body, right? Like what you expect to be there, if the spikes require the option or not. Uh, but for the response, you also have a separate model um, that shows you the information that you expected to see. Um, um, so I found that the way to do it, like, it feels like you're from duplicating the code. It's not as dry as it could be, um, but yeah, it's... Uh, in the California into a so I stay wrapping so relaxing a watch so while it is the Seen my twin brother, I keep 
we started to, as I mentioned, to look into changing this property into a long-term rental from the short-term rental. And one of the reasons is that I mentioned we want something that is more passive. Uh, with this being uh, long, like a short-term rental, it constantly something was up, constantly um, we needed to, to kind of keep a pulse on it. The property management was not good. And we have things to compare it with, like in, um, another rental property that we have, which is a long-term rental. Um, it's managed by a property management that we are super happy uh, with their service. Um, they're, they're called Belong. We have been uh, working with them for a while now. And so far, everything is working as expected. Like we want that experience or the experience here to be similar, like pretty much hands off. Obviously there will be times from time to time like okay, there will be uh, a service that needs to happen or something needs to be re replaced, um, but not something that constantly somebody is breaking something or stealing something and you have to constantly uh, change it. An example is that um, I purchased, <laughs> it was kind of dumb of me, but I purchased really expensive, high quality, soft um, pool towels that I searched for a, for a long time that will match our decor. Um, the, the, it's it's just enjoyable to come out of the pool and, and wrap yourself in that towel. And long and behold, like I, I remember I, called, I purchased 16 of them and all of them disappeared. So I was like, where are they? And there are many things that disappear like that. So um, yeah, just a rant why I find that long-term rental, it's better for our situation. It's still not as passive as it could be like you still need to do stuff from time to time um, but in comparison with the short-term rental oh my god that's a game changer um, and I would love if Belong would have been here in this city unfortunately um, it's a startup that is not here yet it, it recently expanded in a few cities um, the closest is to San Diego and this property is in Palm Springs, so they don't have anything here. But if they had, like, no questions asked, I would have loved them to manage this property. One of the surprises that I learned today is that insurance price premium for this property almost doubled. Uh, it was eighteen hundred, and now it's over three hundred um, dollars uh, per year. And it's like, why, like? What changed? Like why? So I had to deal with the insurance uh, agents calling them and asking what's going on. And their answer basically was, oh, California increased by 40% or something like along the, those lines, um, the premiums, ho uh, home insurance premiums. I wish I had more uninterrupted focus time to prepare for interviews and job searching. Um, but there are things that need to be done and things that need to <laughs> take be taken care of nothing life goes on nothing puts on pause is put on pause um just because i need to uh to find the next opportunity i do have a few of the coding challenges being sent to me from the applications that i've done a few days ago so i need to find some time for that maybe i'll do that later today if i still have the mental clarity to do uh, that Show me the way, show me the bay, show me the wave, show me the sea, show me a thing that I couldn't believe, show me a beat that I couldn't conceive. Show me I can be down before the thing is true. My heart will always be full as long as I'm with you. Yeah, it's been so long, but it feels brand new and I can never be blue.
a wrap on a day in my life as a software engineer balancing job searching, side hustle, family and vacation. Remember, it's all about finding balance and staying motivated. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content. See you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, check out the other videos on job searching and balancing work life as a software engineer. Follow me on social media for our daily updates and behind the scenes content. Until next time, happy coding. There's nothing in this world that